I'm Cody Story, and this is my girlfriend Emily. We're here at Story Fitness creating another free Wednesday workout video. Are you struggling to lose weight and keep it off? Well, that's exactly why we're creating these videos. We want to give you the tools to lose weight, get fit, and feel confident. Now let's get into today's workout. In today's training protocol, you will be working each minute on the minute for a total of 20 rounds within 20 minutes. The golden rule for this type of protocol is you have 60 seconds to get three different moves down for a certain number of reps which we'll go over, but I want you to know if you don't complete all the repetitions for each move within 40 seconds out of 60, two times in a row, I want you to take a round off. That way you can take a minute to recover completely before going into the next round and maintain quality form no matter what level of fitness and no matter what level of progression. Now let's get into your movement progressions and how many repetitions you need to complete for each. Movement one, level one, basic body weight squat. Start with your feet shoulder width. Feet can slightly point outward. Be sure to lock it out at the top, squeezing the glutes and tucking the tailbone. Movement one, level two, ball of foot squat. Same setup, but now you're extending through the legs all the way to ball of foot. At the top, knit the ribs down, squeeze the glutes and tuck the tailbone. Move one, level three, jump squat. Drive through ball of foot and then absorb body weight through ball of foot on the way down. Keep your chest tall, spine vertical, squeeze the glutes and extend the hip in the air. Movement two, level one, sit through hip. Start from a quadruped position, knees off the ground. Rotate and bring the hip toward the floor because the floor is your target. Alternating hands, bringing the arm that comes off the ground, elbow to hip. Movement two, level two, sit through knee. The same as the first option we went through, but now the hip does not touch the ground. Short, sharp exhales on the side, rotating, making sure you're pivoting through ball of foot and one foot remains behind the lead foot. Movement to level three is sit through extension. Now you're going to extend a leg through your rear leg and the arm that's connected to the ground. Squeeze the thigh and lock the knee as you pivot and make sure the foot that you're pivoting on, you get all the way down till that foot is flat. Keep the shoulders packed still. Short, sharp exhales on the rotation. Level one, extended table touch. Be sure to touch the ground every repetition with the hip. Your hip will be distributed evenly between hands and feet. Drive the hip up to your end range of motion knit the ribs and squeeze the glutes. Movement three, level two, extended table. Now you're gonna pull your hip joint behind your palms. You will be touching the floor and squeezing your quads, locking the knees, pulling the toes towards the shins at the bottom. Movement three, level three, extended table lift. Same movement platform and setup, you're gonna keep those elbows locked, but now you're not allowing the hip to touch the ground. Contract through the core and pull your hip behind your arms as you contract the core. All right, the 15 second count in has begun for your each minute on the minute for 20 rounds. Round one, we're gonna start with level one for each of the three movements. And begin, body weight squat for 10 reps. If you've done this workout before, you can start with option one, two, or three for each move. Transitioning to move two, level one, sit through hip, five left, five right, alternating sides. Move three, level one, extended table touch for five reps, 30 seconds into the program. Last rep, 22 seconds remaining. If you're still working at home, go your pace. And I want you to focus on quality repetitions. 
10 seconds left in the first round. This is a super hard workout. The first few rounds are chill, but it becomes extremely difficult as the rounds build. Go, 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 round number two. Now we're working off move one, level two, ball of foot squat for 10 reps. Oh, almost lost that one, but she got it back. Good, move two, level two, sit through knee, five and five. Short, sharp exhales through the core as you rotate. Look, she's smiling because it's still just round two. Wait till we get to round 10. Good, so level two for the third movement, extended table. Pull the hip all the way back behind the wrist. Good, 15 seconds to go. You gotta go quick. 10 seconds left in round two. If you're already done, go ahead, shake it out, recover, recover, recover. Three, two, one, round number three. We're working off of level three, which we're now getting into jump squat for 10 reps. Now we're at movement to sit through extension, five and five. Fully lock out the leg that you're shooting through if you're working from level three. Good, move three, extended table, lift, five reps. Now the hip doesn't touch the ground, but be sure to pull the toes back and lock the knees as you make your way down to the bottom position. Good, 15 seconds left. So she didn't complete each of the three moves within 40 seconds, so she's gonna take a round off. That way she can stay within her intention for the level of intensity for this workout, which is moderate intensity. So if you don't get all the movements and all the repetitions done within 40 seconds, two rounds in a row, you're gonna take that next round off. This is not about getting 20 rounds done in 20 minutes. It's about working from where you're at. Always being sure that you're focusing on quality movement. That is your priority. So if you're working on this round, just note that you are 30 seconds into round four, 30 seconds to go. If you are taking the round off, you're gonna recover, whether it's vibration drills for the arms or the legs, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. You got 20 seconds left. That was your 40 second mark for round four. And we have 10 seconds to go. All right, round five is next. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, begin. Go, go, go. 10 reps for move one. You can pick option or level one, two, or three. Go as fast as your form will hold. Downshifting and upshifting when necessary. Thirty seconds left, halfway. Remember, short, sharp exhales on the upper. Good, 20 seconds left, she made it. So if you're still working, focus on your form. If you're recovering, go back to focusing on long, slow exhales to the bottom of the belly. All right, five seconds till we go, round six, next. Go. No matter what level of squats you're working on, we want ribs down at the top and squeezing the glutes as tight as you can with leg lock. No matter what level you're working on with your sit-throughs, it's always shoulders packed away from the ears. Focus on arm lock with all the versions of extended table and shoulder pack. Exhale as the hip travels upward and squeeze the glutes at the top. Good, she made it. 20 seconds to go. Shake it out if you're recovering. 
six rounds down. Round number seven next. Working towards that halfway point. Three, two, one. Round seven. Go, 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 rock and roll. Fast as you can go, and as fast as your form will hold. Short, sharp exhales. She's working off of level three for move two, sit through extension. In that version, you really want to focus on pulling the toes towards the shin and squeezing the thigh. Good, Emily's now working on move three, level three, extended table lift. 20 seconds to go, she made it. If you're working, focus on your form. If you're standing, be sure to stand up and recover. 10 seconds till we start round eight. Go, 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 she almost jumped the gun. She's so excited for round eight, she couldn't wait. Exhale on the bottom and top if the heart rate has started to increase. She's jamming on this round. 20 seconds in. Thirty seconds down. Good. Where do your exhales go? Twenty-two seconds left. She made it again. She earned another round. Fifteen seconds. How we doing, Emily? Doing good. Okay. She's warming up still. Five seconds. Round nine is next. Begin. Quality reps. On a scale of one to 10, if 10 was perfect form, you're working on an eight or higher. Keep track of your reps. Remember it's 10 reps for the first move, five and five on move two, and five for the last move. Work from where you're at. Pick your levels wisely. You're doing great, keep working. 30 seconds. 25 seconds remaining. This is not about getting every single round completed. This is about completing as many rounds as you can and taking off the appropriate rounds for you. All right, back in. This is the halfway point. Round 10 next. Rock and roll. Good, so she has regressed down to option one. No ego, zero ego. This is all about listening to your body. The greater the form, the greater your results. seconds left. Challenge yourself. Good 20 seconds to go. That was that 40 second mark. Doing great Emily. Good job at home as well. You have completed or you're still working on the 10th round. That means 50% by the end of this round is already accomplished. Only 10 rounds to go. Go. Hold your form. Every rep counts. Good, now focus on those short, sharp exhales through the core like you're bracing your stomach. Nice and active core on the exhales. 30 seconds. Twenty seconds left. You've just passed that forty second mark. If you need water, grab water if you've already finished round eleven. 
We have 10 seconds remaining. Recover, deep, slow exhales. If you're already standing, three, two, one, round 12 of 20. Fifteen seconds into round twelve. Almost halfway. Good. Thirty seconds to go. Forty seconds down, twenty left. Is recovering, she's getting a little water. Now she's gonna go back to those long exhales, out through the mouth, in through the nose. Round 13 coming up. Three, two, one, go, go, go. This is a super hard workout, especially if you start stepping into those second or third options. So respect the challenge. Train as intelligent as possible. What pace do you need to be going to hold great form? These are all things that should be flowing through your mind. What are the key cues you should be focusing on? 20 seconds left, 40 seconds in. Good, we broke down the movements in the beginning of the workout for you. So I hope you took those cues into your training session. Five seconds to go, entering round 14 next. Three, two, one, get it. Good, chest tall with your squats. If you're at home taking a round off, that's totally acceptable. It's where you're at. Fully recover, even if Emily's working and you're not. The greater the recovery, the greater the performance. Good, she's stepping it up a little this round. 30 seconds left. Good exhales, Emily. Good job, 40 second mark. A little thirsty today, huh? California dried up again. It was raining for like five days. Now we're back to the desert. Maybe that's why she's so thirsty. Ready? Round 15. This is 75% into the workout. Good. Remember, this program is about speed and mental toughness. Dealing with the challenge of going fast while staying under control and going as fast as you can to get as much recovery time as possible, but without jeopardizing your technique. The responsible push. 30 seconds to go. Good, she's done. If you're still working at home, you now have 20 seconds left. Remember the golden rule for each minute on the minute is if you don't get the work completed within 40 seconds, two rounds in a row, be sure to take the next round off and recover for 60 seconds. Begin round 16. So we've already climbed the hill, we've climbed the mountain. Now you're on your way down. Thirty seconds. Good. If you're on extended table, hip high, glutes tight at the top, leg lock on the bottom. Forty second mark. Yep. Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. Oh. OK. 
Okay, round number 17 next. How are we doing? Pretty challenging? Yeah, yeah super hard. Challenging. Yep. Okay, ready, round 17. Leg lock at the top of your squats, tuck the tailbone. Elbow to hip on the sit throughs. Pivoting on ball of foot, exhaling on the sides. Shoulder pack on extended table with some leg drive. Drive through the legs, hip high. 40 second mark. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Seconds left. Five seconds till we go. This is round number 18 out of 20. Good, we're getting a little interaction. She's like, dang, how many more do we have? She wants to be in the know. Doing great. Working off move two, level three, sit through extension. Fight for that leg lock. Extended table lift. Halfway, 30 seconds left in round number 18. Shake it out if you're done, recover fully. Sand, shake those arms out. Good. Good stuff, shake them, shake them, shake them. Get that burning sensation out. Last two rounds, 10 seconds still to go in this round. Number 19 is next. Five, four, three, two, one, go, go, go. Nice and smooth. Control your movement. Own your work. 10 seconds in. Twenty seconds in round nineteen. Thirty seconds down, thirty seconds left. Nice exhales on the effort, Emily. Great effort, great focus. Shake it out, stand up, shake, shake, shake. You only got one more round. I don't think you need another drink of water, dear. <laughs> Thought you were gonna go for the bottle again. All right, 10 seconds left. All right, final round. Round 20, three, two, one, get it. Having some fun now, huh? Five reps, four, three, two, one. She's moving on. Good, now discipline those exhales. 20 seconds in. Quality, quality, quality. 30 seconds in, 30 to go. Maintain form. Exhale on the effort. 40 second mark, 20 seconds left. Last round, go ahead, stand up Emily, shake it out if you're still going at home. Keep fighting for your form. 10 seconds left. So close. This is it. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one time. That's it. Shake it out. Recover. If you need water, grab some water. Towel off if you need to as well. You have completed 20 rounds each minute on the minute, three moves with three different modifications, whether it's a more beginner, intermediate, or advanced option. Great job, you just completed the second Wednesday workout. We hope you're having fun and enjoying yourselves. We have so many more videos on the way. And remember, these workouts are repeatable because of the different levels of progression for each movement. Here at Story Fitness, we want to know your feedback. Whether you have suggestions or questions, feel free to throw them in the comment section below. 
click like, subscribe, and share these workouts with your friends and family.